Hi, welcome to Orchestration Minute, where we take a brief but detailed look at some of the various orchestration techniques used throughout classical repertoire so that you might be able to add them to your tool belt as a composer or orchestrator. When thinking of the orchestra as a number of individual sections, it can feel really limiting as an orchestrator and it can shrink the scope of your writing. You may find that you only write for certain sections in certain ways, which almost always means that your low voices are being condemned to a seemingly endless series of consecutive whole notes. So how do we alleviate this? It can be more helpful to think of the orchestra as one composite organism that has many different functions rather than a group of sections with prescribed roles. One really short example of this that I've always loved comes from Holst's Planet Suite. From the very first brass gestures in the opening of Mars, Holst demonstrates his ability to write for the orchestra rather than writing for sections of the orchestra. But the example we're looking at spans just three bars at a transition section in Venus. Holst wants one sweeping upward gesture to get us to an important harmonic moment, and instead of doing it with the limitations of just one section, he uses three different string sections to get there the viola, cello, and bass sections. The benefit here is that he's able to expand the range of the gesture, which gives it a far broader feeling and is much more compelling than just doing so with the limit of range of, say, just the violas or just the cellos. Notably, both violin sections join at the top of this gesture, and using the violas to close the gap between the ranges makes it feel so much more natural than having some kind of leap. It's important to mention that the dovetailing that Hulse does here is pretty integral to pulling this off seamlessly, and I would advise you to replicate that kind of dovetailing wherever possible when painting in broader strokes like this. Well, that's all we have time for today. Like and subscribe for more zoomed-in looks at various moments in the orchestral repertoire.